Hello everyone, Giltar here with a quick response to Versus Z's uh, update number 33 and I must agree uh, things are looking up for us this year as Gundam fans, as Gunpla fans and Z was right, he called it and it's uh, I think it's really great to see Z uh, almost like he's almost like bursting with excitement he's just trying to hold it back for the purposes of his for his video and I think that's just something amusing uh, it's just it's great to see that kind of excitement come through uh, for myself I feel the same way I mean yesterday um, was a great day it was a day off that I really needed uh, and I'm still right now still in, in, sort of experiencing some euphoria from watching the first episode of Gundam Unicorn and I'm re-watching it again at some point soon and I just I don't know uh, combined with the experience of watching Gundam Unicorn and my positive uh, response to it combined with the great news about all these new kids coming out I'm just I'm in a good spot now um, in, in, a, in a sort of I guess a happy place but I'm, I, I, I don't know it's just like some really great stuff like for me what really stood out to me was the um, high grade 1 to 144 scale Australia Type F and Exia Avalanche. I really love those two designs. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I really like the double O design, but for me, I like the Exia even more and the Estrella as well. Like I like those two designs uh, in particular from uh, Gundam Double O. And so I'm very happy to see 1 to 144 scale versions of those two designs. First of all, because I actually planned to get those two uh, kits in the 1 to 100 range at some point, but I never got around to it. Uh, however, now with the 1 to 144 scale versions, um, I think I might get those instead because I am anticipating improved engineering in these smaller scaled model kits because they're, they're, they're more current uh, in design. Um, so I'm excited about that. I'm also excited about some other news like the Gurren Lagann Ver Ka. I do think it's going to be an action figure because it mentions it's a composite product. And the only composite product I'm aware of are through the GFF or Gundam Fixed Figuration, the metal composite figures, I guess. So I'm thinking both the Lancelot and Gurren Lagann Ver Ka are both composite figures for the GFF or the Fixed Figuration line, I guess. Um, so that'll be pretty exciting. Uh, well, I don't know, there's a lot of other great news as well. I mean, I'm looking forward to the SD uh, RX-0 Unicorn Gundam. I think that'll be a really great SD kit or great kit in general. I'm also looking forward to the high grade Universal Sentry Zaku 2F2. I think that's a really great design, a really great sort of uh, take on the Zaku 2 design, but with more athletic proportions. It, uh, to me, it looks more sort of um, lanky. It, it has, I don't know, it's the best way I can describe it right now. Uh, another thing, well, it's not Gundam related, but for any guys out there who are Macross fans, I also saw here that Wave is releasing a 1 to 72 scale. Uh, model kit of the MBR4 Mark IV Tomahawk and I love that design from Macross. I love all the Destroids from the Macross uh, SDF or Super Dimension Fortress Macross uh, anime. Um, I really like the Spartan for example but um, yeah I'm really excited about that model kit too and I might be getting the uh, Tomahawk because I don't know uh, I don't have any personal experience with the Wave model kit product so that that'd be interesting to me too. Um, I also want to add that I saw on uh, Z's video um, a, a notice or a annotation, um, so, you know, sort of announcing the the one year anniversary of the Gundam Eclipse forums. So I also want to add my own congratulations to that. Um, great job, guys! It's a great forum. I actually do lurk there, but I haven't really become too active yet. Uh, however, I, I'm hoping to be more active on the Gundam Eclipse forums very soon. So uh, again, congratulations to you guys. It's a great place for us gun, uh, gun plot fans and hobbyists. Uh, another thing to mention as well is like I, d I must agree with Z. Uh, it's great to see our community grow, uh, and we are I think becoming more diverse. We are you know we are generally, as far as I've seen, very welcoming to other people from the community of just general fandom in in things like anime and manga and other sort of pop culture hobbies that we're experiencing right now. And I think that's a good thing. Um, I think no matter how much we diversify, we will always be a solid Gundam community. Um, so I, I, I have no worries about that. It, it, I think it's nice to see us branching off a little bit, becoming more welcoming, because you know what, uh, ultimately for me, beyond simply being a Gunpla or Gundam community, I, I just look at this as a fandom community, a place on YouTube here where fans of all different types of pastimes can gather and 
you know, sort of uh, discuss things and just enjoy um, on a on a uh, collective level um, our, our our passions for these hobbies that we share, and all these hobbies are interrelated. Um, they all branch off and connect and overlap, so I think it's a good thing. So that's all I got to say for now. Um, and yeah, I'm just I'm really excited. I'm gonna be watching uh, episode one of Gundam Unicorn again, and I hope you guys have uh, a really good day.